Welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is another video of Photoshop Element 6. First I'd like to say thanks to everybody for subscribing to the show. We finally made uh, made it over actually 100 subscribers so that's a milestone. I remember I was trying to get my first one and all you folks made it possible to see the subscribers over 100. So that's a wonderful thing on YouTube. And I was happy to announce that one of our videos have finally made 1,000 views. So that's really great for tutorial videos. You know, you usually see the funny videos on YouTube getting a lot of hits like that. But, you know, making over 1,000 views on a video, that's a, that's a fantastic feat. So with that said, we'll go ahead and get started with our tutorial today. The tutorial I'm going to talk about is now that you've installed Grant Tools, and if you have not, please watch the video um, labeled Grant's Tools. What Grant's Tools allows us to do is it actually enhances Photoshop Element 6 with some new features. And some of these are only found in Photoshop. So it's a, it's a nice toolkit. Um, they're absolutely free to install. Just watch the video and follow along. I know a few of you said you had to stop it and rewind it, and that's what makes these videos so powerful. So let's go ahead and get started. I already have my editor open, and I have a picture open right here. It's a winter scene that I took um, a couple years ago, I guess. But I figured this would be a perfect scene because it's got darkness in the back. It's got a lot of light in the front here. It's got a lot of light on the tree. So it's nice to be able to see these effects that I'm going to introduce to you. Now to go ahead and get to Grant's Tools, if you go over here on the right, you're going to click on the little icon right here that says Photo Effects. Then click your pull down menu and you'll find Grant's Tools in there if you have this installed. Now these are just different types of tools that we can use now on our pictures. So it extends the usability of Photoshop Element 6. It's a really neat feature. What I'm going to talk to you today about is something that I always like to use in Photoshop called Action Curves. Curves allows us to adjust the photo in a lot of different ways and to add a lot of different effects to it without having to use a lot of different tools. And uh, Let's go ahead and take a look at that. So just simply click on that and watch. I found you don't have to duplicate the layer down here. When you click Apply, Grant's tools are smart enough that it will duplicate that layer for us. And there you go, it duplicated the layer and now we have our curves palette open. So we can actually work on curves. Now, the first thing I found to do is you want to pick some key points here. If you look down here you can pick out uh, a black point. We can pick out a gray point with these eyedroppers as well as we can pick out a white point. And you see I have an awful lot of white here in this pictures. So let's go ahead and click on the white point. And we're just going to go out here and click anywhere you can see on the white. Look how it immediately lit that picture up for us. That's all we did was clicked on the white and Curves is smart enough to go ahead and brighten the whole picture up for us. You can set a black point. I tested it earlier here on the side of this little uh, log, I guess, in the water. Or we could try it back here in the background and see if it would make any changes. Now, look how that made that picture so dark. It made it very dark. Remember, if you don't like something on the picture, you can always undo it. Well, we would hope. All right, let's not undo that. Oops. Let's go back and we'll just set our white point back. All right, let's cancel it, and then we'll just start over again. Apply our curves again. All right, so the black didn't work out too well for us, and there's no gray that I can find in the picture. So let's go back and click on the white. We'll lighten it back up again. Now, if you click the pull down here at the top where it says custom, we can work on the backlighting. We can darken highlights, increase contrast, Increase the midtones, lighten shadows, and solarize, which I'll show you that in the end here. Let's look at the backlighting. 
backlighting all you got to do is if you set backlighting you grab these see this little curve here with these little uh, handles on here we can pull these up and down and we can adjust the picture and you can see it changing there we can actually overexpose it you see what I mean by overexposing the picture pull that back down we can come over here we can go down we can actually lower the lighting a little bit bring it back up and that's overexposing it again alright now we can go we can darken highlights we can darken some of the highlights down you can pull this down you can actually darken your highlights so you see the back drawn back here we're actually toning down the sunlight while leaving the white in here actually well lit we can go to increase the contrast and the contrast if you just move this up you can see we can actually lighten it up now you can see we're actually adding light back here we're adding a lightness to this hillside that was originally very very dark let's go here increase midtones and again folks this is something you have to play with on your pictures I'm just simply introducing these tools to you and then you have to sit and play and adjust these to what you know what your eye thinks it is and then I would suggest if you have an inkjet printer to run one of these off on your printer uh, in color and see what the light comes like on the printer that was the midtones light and shadows now we can actually lighten some of these shadows down here see by that log you can actually pull that up and you can lighten the shadows a little bit and then you just have to play around you can pull these down you can change the tones here so you're actually affecting different areas of the picture or different highlights of the picture and pull this down you can see where we're working on the background now leaving that water the way it was and you see the background drop in there and that looks pretty pleasing let's drop this down this is more of the top of the picture all right we can even add a little bit of light to the arm. and there that looks pretty pleasing now I told you the last thing I would show you is the solar eyes um, it's kind of a nice like a filter I guess you would say uh, you're putting on the picture and it makes an interesting effect now you can see that solarized that makes a conversation piece a lot of people are going to wonder how in the world did you take that picture and you can see the curve look how wild the curve looks up here we can change this and we can pull this down and we could actually make it darker we can increase a little bit and make it lighter and this is nice just to play with just to see the kind of pictures you can come up with you can pull this back down there you go once you're done just simply click OK and it's going to set that in on your picture however you set those curves up so again that's action curves hopefully that'll help you out it's a new tool it's one of grants tools and I'm going to play around a little bit with the rest of Grant's tools and do some more tutorials on these, as well as a lot of other videos I'll have for you on Photoshop Element 6. Once again, I'm your host, Jack. Thanks to everybody for subscribing to the show, uh, and it's wonderful receiving all the comments. I've never done, uh, and I used to do a lot of podcasts. I used to do three podcasts a week and never, ever received the feedback that I'm receiving from you folks from YouTube videos. If you want to see these in a better resolution, they're also posted at Viddler.com. That's V-I-D-D-L-E-R dot com slash Jack's Tech Corner. The resolution is a lot better, and you can see what's going on uh, a lot clearer. So until next time, I'll see you back here very soon. Keep editing, and keep those comments coming. Bye for now.